Hello students, in today's class we are going to learn how to find the HCF by the third method. Which is the third method? Division method. And what is HCF? HCF is the highest common factor. How to find the highest common factor by division method? I'll do two questions and you will you'll be able to understand by doing these questions. Now find the HCF by division method. First question is 18 and 30. When you do, when you do the find the HCF by division method, first what we are going to do, we are going to divide the second number or the greater number by the smaller number. Let's do that first. 30 is the greatest number. 30 divided by 18. 18 ones are 18, 18 twos are 36, but only 30 is the, then 18 one is 18. 10 minus 8, 2, 2 minus 1, 2, 1. Here we got the remainder 12. Now next step what we are going to do, we are going to divide the divisor by the remainder. We are going to divide the divisor by the remainder. Either we can continue the step here or we can do it separately. We can write it separate and do it. 18 divided by 12. Now, how many 12s are in 18? 1 12 is 12. 18 minus 12, 6. Again, we got a remainder 6. Again, we are going to continue the step in the same way. Divide the divisor by the remainder. Divisor is 12 here. We are going to divide it by 6. How many 6 are 12? 6 twos are 12. 12 minus 12, 0. We have to continue this process till you get the remainder as 0. We have to continue this division process of dividing the divisor by the remainder till you get the remainder as 0. Then the question is, then what will be our answer? What will be our HCF? Our HCF will be the last divisor. The, in the last step, with which number you divided, that will be the HCF of these two numbers. Then which is HCF? HCF is 6. We can divide 18 with 6 and we can divide 30 also with 6. 6 is a common divisor for 18 and 30. Okay, let's do one more question. Now let's find the HCF of these three numbers 16, 24 and 32 by division method. As we said in division method what we are going to do? We are first step we are going to divide the greater number by the smaller number. We are going to divide 24 by 16. How many 16s are there in 24? 16, 1 is 16. 14 minus 6, 8. 1 minus 1, 0. We got the remainder here, 8. Can we stop the process here? No. We have to continue. How we have to continue? We have to divide the divisor by remainder. We can either do here only or I will show you the other way also. 16 divided by 8. When you read here, you can see how many 8's are 16. 8 2's are 16. We got the remainder 0. Now, here you can see in this step, you got the remainder 0 here. Then what will be the HCF of these numbers? 8 will be the HCF of this number because the last divisor will be the HCF of these numbers. Now, we have done only with two numbers. Let's try with the third number also. We are going to divide the third number with this same HCF. 
32 divided by 8. 8 fours are 32. Yes, we got the same. Remainder 0, zero here. So, HCF is equal to 8. We can divide 16, 24 and 32 by 8 without leaving a remainder. Hope you all understood the division method. Thank you.